under caution at Daytona. Grant Infinger got a little sideways and Jennifer Joe Cobb took the biggest hit. It could have collected many, but Cobb certainly took the biggest hit of the bunch. You see her, she is climbing out with a little bit of assistance. We did hear her communicate on the radio to her team. She said on the radio, Vince, that she is okay, but she just couldn't stop. So it's nice to hear her clearly tell the team what was going on. Cody Coughlin avoided significant damage because he could have uh, he could have wrapped that thing up pretty well also, but somehow maneuvered his way out of trouble. Well, Vince, I thought he was going to hit the hit the inside wall a couple of times, and he just spun and slid past it. Came in, got four tires. I don't think there's any damage to that two truck. You see the damage on the 98 of Infinger. This is now watch, it begins with the 98 of Infinger. That's him right here in, inside of the 51 truck, Spencer Davis. Dalton Sargent, that 25 right behind him. He just wanders up off the bottom and looks like just tries to turn back to the bottom, Phil. Just, just got loose, just simply got loose. And watch the driving some of these racers do to get through it. How about Parker Clickerman? He got hit by the 20 of Legacy. There's that hard contact to the safer barrier for Jennifer Joe Cobb. Well, it's amazing that Coughlin and Sargent both avoided significant damage. Coughlin, you see there spinning, and that was Sargent right behind him. What a big hit for Jennifer Joe Cobb. Thank goodness for the safer barriers. Uh, you're right. Well, we both hit that wall down there when it mm, wasn't protected. And let's go on board with Cody Coughlin. Infinger is just up ahead on the left. Come on, Jerry. Give me some tires. I want to go again. Well, it's nice to have a voice like Jerry Cook in your ear. That's nice. <laughs> it's also nice, Phil, to spin at 190 miles an hour off turn four and not, not hit anything. anything. Watch this two truck right there, sideways. A little bit of contact with the Dalton 98. Sergeant. Or is that Sergeant, Sergeant 25? 25. Yeah. It's amazing. Sergeant didn't do more damage either. There he goes through the uh, Monster Energy logo on the top of it. Jennifer Joe Cobb there coming to rest in the grass. And you see when she climbed out, indicated she could just see her point to the her left arm. When the safety crew came up, she obviously took a hit there, but the way that truck impacted that safer barrier on the left side, no surprise. No surprise that it was sore. That was a big hit. Phil, do we think about pitting these leaders? I think if I'm at the back half of the lead lap, I'm going to pit. That's just going to buy me a little more time. So if we go green, then I have to spend less time on pit road. They cannot make it from here with 43 laps to go. But it might be time, like you said, to use some strategy to get that track position later in the race. Guys, it could be trouble for the 88 of Matt Crafton. He was not involved in that accident, but he has said all of a sudden he smells burning grease or oil inside of that truck. So they're coming down pit road and Junior Joyner has asked him to get some tools together to try to diagnose the issue. We'll, see, we'll update you on the 88 as soon as we know what's happening. But a lot of concern here in this pit, Alan. And Grant Enfinger, he's coming back down pit road. They think it was a right rear tire that failed, started that whole ordeal. They're just keeping an eye on the crash clock to make sure they have enough time to fix it, do as much as they can, and get Grant Enfinger back out. They think they can still salvage a decent finish, but they got to keep an eye on that clock. Our teams get an extra minute in the damage vehicle policy this year, six minutes instead of the five that they had a year ago. Under caution at Daytona.